I, when I heard that story, I, this story, I really liked it. And as an actor, when you hear such a good role, you won't, you just can't help it, but to take it, because <laughs> it's it's almost every actor's dream to play such a role. I, and I, I felt really there's a little story behind this, that um, this story was actually brought to us by Juno Mac, and Pan Ho Chang and they were looking for us to invest into it. But um, it, it was meant to be Juno's story. He's supposed to be the lead. And then after I heard the script, I was like, please, can you please write one more role in for me? Maybe I can be his assistant or something. Or maybe I can be his sister. So the um, director went home and thought about it. He's like, OK, let me think about it. And by the time he finished up with the script, there could only be one lead person in the script and and I I was really greedy and I took it. <laughs> I don't think we're taking it too far. I think that as long as you have the vision and as long as you believe in the project, I don't think we should hold back our concept because of certain audiences and certain market. I don't think we we have as much budget as other film company, all these Hong Kong film companies are pretty, they're film moguls, they're pretty big and they can afford to do really commercial films and I think we have a different vision. What we're trying to do is to show people that we're different and that we, we do believe that our vision would work out and we will have box office as long as your vision, as long as your belief is strong enough uh, we really want to show that part, and that's why we're not afraid to do something explicit. Is it how we you just do couldn't it? think of anybody who could fit this role better than Eason. But I don't mean that he's a pervert or anything, sorry. But you just fit the role, man. <laughs> because he's, he's that kind of uh, character who, would do, who, who looks like who would do things that way. He doesn't, he, he, he's not really, actually in real life he's not like that, but he, he plays a lot of those kind of roles and we just kind of took that impression of the audience and tweaked it a little bit and made him do this. I think I have grown out of that old idea that I don't want to be in his shadow. I think I've pretty much accepted the fact that you're always going to be in the shadow. I'm his daughter. So it's, um, that's the fact. That's the reality. I got to face it and try to ride on, try to ride along with it. And that's, that's part of my idea that trying to maybe start, if I do well enough, hopefully, I would be able to start um, maybe a film branch under his huge umbrella. You gotta do what you're best at. And I'm really good at shocking people. I think I gotta stick to that. <laughs>